welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for joining me today and to all my new subscribers thank you so much for subscribing i see and appreciate each and every one of you so so much so today's video is actually an impromptu one like a very last minute decision type of video i'm done washing my hair uh so this is my last wash day of the year and i'm about to style my hair like my normal styling is just um cornrow going all back normally depending on how i'm feeling could be from eight to ten sometimes even four but yeah today i'm going to take my time with it i want it to be very like you know um tiny and you know very neat at least as neat as i can um because i'm gonna burn a wig tomorrow so while i'm doing my hair i just thought why not come on camera and just talk about you know like a year review of my hair 2020 review of my hair so uh i'm going to be continuing as you can see I already like did one uh, plait, that's it there. So I'm gonna continue doing this while I talk to you guys about my hair in 2020. So bear with me a second. Actually, before I actually get into that, I'm gonna show you guys the products I used to wash my hair today. Um, these are the products, so it's like um, a line, a product line from this company called Moiri. Moiri, depending on where you wanna put the accent, uh, but it should be Moiri. Um, Moiri, it's a USA uh, based company and they sent me this to try out and guys um, the video the video review for this should be up before this video so you should check that out It's definitely uh, my last video my last upload so check that out because these products are the bomb for real so for now for this process I'm going to be using the uh, the ultimate growth spray together with my leave-in conditioner from uh, Retro Rich. If you guys do not know about Retro Rich, it's a um, black-owned company on IG. Really good. I'm going to leave the link to them below. And I'm also going to be using my uh, DIY coffee oil. You guys definitely need to check this out. Um, the video to this should be down in the description box or somewhere up in the screen. Uh, but yeah, like I said, this is up on sale. Together with other of my um, DIY products, oils and butters, uh, link below to my IG business page. And then I'm going to also be using um, this hibiscus hair growth butter. This is from Naturalista Divine. She is a, um, um, of course, black owned, a fellow natural hair YouTuber here on YouTube. And uh, she does these um, homemade butters that are amazing, literally. And uh, this is the hibiscus hair growth one, really good. So that's what I'm going to be using to style my hair today. Uh, actually, I have already put in, you know, the deep leave-in conditioner as well as the oil um, and the spray, the growth spray. Um, so I'm just going to continue uh, doing the plaits, the cornrows, uh, and just have a conversation with you guys about uh, my hair in 2020. So 2020 has been an interesting year for everyone. It's been uh, particularly difficult for most. Um, and you know, so yeah, we just thank God for good health and for still being here because um, a lot of people aren't. But yeah, um, that aside, um, with regards to my hair, 2020 has been okay somewhat, you know, mostly good, I'd say. Uh, in the beginning of the year, I started out. Actually, what, what did I do to my hair? Beginning of the year, I think. Yeah, in the beginning of the year, I was wearing a lot of wigs because um, I was going to work, right? So I started out with uh, wigs, so like you know, washing my hair um, every other week, and then um, doing my conroe or back conroe, and then you know, um, wearing wigs for the week, and you know, I was working, so I didn't have you know time to you know style like the way I was doing when I initially started my YouTube channel I would like style my hair every weekend for you guys just to give you guys inspo you know on how to style um, short medium um, natural hair forcey hair um, especially so um, I did that a lot in the beginning of my YouTube channel that which was like a year ago but after I decided that I wanted growth I wanted healthy hair the styling my hair every weekend wasn't gonna work out for me so I stopped doing that uh, so the beginning of this year 2020 I started out with wigs I have to be honest um, I would just you know um, put on wigs you know go to work and and you know don't think about my hair really I mean I do don't get me wrong I do moisturize my hair um, 
you know every other day and you know do what I need to do because you know um, and then everything was okay then the lockdown started when on lockdown I started working from home since um, uh, March um, afterwards I didn't wear wigs no more because I was home so I didn't need to wear wigs right but my hair was mo mostly always still in you know the Conroe state and um, I, I would just you know stay two weeks sometimes even three weeks before I actually wash my hair because I wasn't going anywhere so I didn't need to be on my hair like in my hair every day like that so that gave my hair time to you know really rest and I would say even grow I definitely saw growth I saw um, 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 I saw growth that is length as well as volume because my hair if you guys know me on this channel my hair is naturally um, thin I don't have thick strands of hair uh, but I, I do have to say though in the past year I have seen my hair um, you know just flourish and just got it thicken up and I probably would attribute that to um, a lot of my DIY products if you guys uh, haven't seen my DIY videos that will be in the link below a lot of my DIY products mainly the Ayurvedic um, products so the Ayurvedic mask Ayurvedic oils and all of that like I said all link to this are below so that really helped my hair to thrive in that sense um, and then I believe around May June it was I had a, a setback just a slight setback nothing major um, but what happened is like I was so focused on trying to grow my hair take care of my hair I did everything I knew I, I had to do moisturizing my hair um, so um, uh, around May June I believe it was I had a setback um, nothing major but you know it did kind of yeah like I said set me back a, a, a few inches you know yeah more than a few inches actually um so i like i've always said it on this channel i'm not about um length when it comes to hair growth i'm more about the health of my hair and the volume of my hair because what i like, suffer most is you know i wouldn't say thin hair because my hair isn't necessarily thin but it, it isn't thick i'm i'm more um i definitely you know like to do whatever i can you know diys products whatever it is to help me get you know um, my hair to be a bit thicker and, and like more luscious and voluminous just you know you guys know what I'm talking about um, so yeah definitely um, that's what I'm working towards so length isn't isn't a thing for me like I'm not a um, Rapunzel type of girl like you know long hair you know I don't I'm not about that I'm more about like big hair voluminous hair and all of that so I was so uh, focused on doing everything to um, get you know healthy hair thick hair and all of that I forgot to you know trim my hands which is very very uh, important when it comes to hair growth and hair care and you know just overall hair health right so um, I was so focused on doing everything I didn't trim my hands for like God knows how long I don't even know how long I went without trimming my hair so and then at some point I started getting like excessive shedding this was around May June like I said I don't, there's a video I did a video to that because that you know I've always been transparent on about my hair journey on this channel so there is a video on on that on that um um what would you call it um setback failure whatever you want to call it and uh that would be definitely linked somewhere here or below um so I started getting like loads of shedding which I'm not I'm not the type of person that sheds a lot of hair I shed like the normal average you know amount of hair people do like you know on a weekly daily whatever basis it is depending on how often I um, comb and touch my hair but at some point I started getting excessive shedding so I do my black tea rinse and nothing I did my green tea rinse I did my rice water rinse like nothing was helping so and then mind you at this point I didn't even think that it could be you know uh, because I hadn't trimmed my hair in, in the longest time so I was like wait a minute what is it I kept trying to like you know find remedies you know to stop this excessive shedding and even breakage I would say you know I, I kind of went back to that time when if you guys have seen my um, natural hair journey video I had explained how I neglected my hair because you know union whatever and, and it started you know just falling out of my head that I started like literally having flashbacks of that time 
I was like, nah, I've come too far to let that happen again. I need to find a solution to this. So here I am, you know, all over the internet researching why my hair is excessively shedding. And then I came across uh, an article, I can't even remember what website that was, about, you know, one of the reasons could be, you know, because your, your ends are, are, you know, you know, dead and of course being the oldest part of your hair, you need to trim them, you know, get rid. I, I know all of this, right? I know this and I know to trim my ends. But for some reason, that would be a second. Ooh. For some reason, at that particular time, that was not even, I wasn't even thinking about that. So there, there I was thinking to myself, how dumb, like how did you think about this? And then um, I did the video of, you know, uh, I, really, I don't remember the title for that, but like I said, it took it down below. And uh, that was where I trimmed um, my hand. This was again in June, it should be June-ish. I trimmed my ends and I ended up trimming about an inch, two, in some places, maybe even three. So like I said, that was quite a setback. Um, and then afterwards, of course, you know, I made sure to always stay on top of my trims. <laughs> And, um, and since then, I have to say my hair has somewhat, you know, gone back to being okay. Um, as for growth, uh, like, like I said, I'm not about length. I'm more about the health of my hair and, you know, the, the, the volume and all of that. Volume-wise, I have to say my hair has thickened up. That's for sure. It may be because, of course, it's growing. And, of course, you know, with growth comes more hair. And, and more volume and thickness and all of that again this is definitely you know thanks to the products I use my techniques and my consistency with you know these products and, and all of that so definitely it's not just you know by magic um, health wise it is really healthy I'll show you guys a video of when I was doing my pre I was so gassed of how healthy my hair was I was really excited it's really healthy um, I don't get I don't have split ends to so my ends I believe uh, my hands are really really healthy okay let me show you guys let me just put um, my butter I believe they're really healthy this is of course like I said my technique the product and all of that if you guys see you guys can see that I don't feel like my hands are like you know see-through or breaking or like split ends I feel like it's really really healthy like my hair I just I don't know I've seen what an unhealthy hair looks like and I've seen what unhealthy hair looks like and definitely this is a healthy as hair literally I'm so so proud of um, you know look at that like I said it's not much in length but in health you guys you can't even like you can't even say nothing about that my ends are healthy look at that so yeah i'm really really um excited about that literally um so yeah um so that is pretty much it for my um 2020 hair review like i said it hasn't been much i haven't done much honestly i've just let my hair be and that's the best way to uh really let your natural hair grow especially forcing hair which is really fragile um, that's the best way to just let it grow by just leaving it, you know, leaving it alone, not doing much. And um, yeah, so that is for that. As for my 2021 um, hair growth, you know, challenge and, and mission and objective and goal, whatever you want to call it, um, I am going to be going on a hair growth challenge uh, journey. You guys uh, may have seen that on my previous video. I was talking about my. Um, new hair growth challenge i want to use uh, i've so far i've mainly used shape uh, sorry um ayurvedic products uh we're talking um amla we're talking uh fenugreek we're talking uh what else is there amla fenugreek um brahmi shikakai uh aloe vera uh what else is there neem powder all of those ayurvedic herbs i've mainly used you know in the past yeah yeah and a half um on my hair and like i said i have seen tremendous um improvement growth if you will health of my hair uh this year 2021 next year sorry 2021 i want to concentrate on um the shebe powder so shebe powder shebe oil 
shebe butter everything shebe is what i'm going to be using on my hair in this next year and i just want to see you know what happens i've heard loads of you know great reviews great stories and great you know um testimonies on shebe powder how it's been great for people's hair and i want to try it out too like you know as i will be doing like loads of diys and both for myself because i'm on this new hair journey as well as um as well as for you guys to purchase so uh, i know not everybody have you know the opportunity to get these products so i'm going to be putting them on sale for you guys and if you're interested do not hesitate to dm me on instagram on either my personal page debbie easy or on my business page easy naturals um so yeah um that is basically uh my hair goal for 2020 shebe powder shebe butter shebe oil everything shebe in 2020 and we're gonna see uh where we get to so so far i believe um i don't, I don't like doing length check honestly because uh, it's like who cares i'm not about that anyway but i'm gonna do that for you guys now so that you guys can see um where i'm at lengthwise uh so just so so just i can have it you know on on camera as well so when like this time next year when i'm doing um my 2021 review i can actually see how far i've come i really hope i'm really really hoping that i get to you know be consistent with this um shape thing like really get down with it and really like you know i want to be like i want to do it really well i want to be really i want to see like great results like I want like when next year I come for my 2021 review, my hair should be double of what it is now. Like when I'm talking pro, you guys, I've been natural now for um, a big chop. My second big chop I did it in 2018, May 2018. So it's been two and a half years. And like I said, most people in two and a half years they've got like a big ass afro. And I, on the other hand, don't grow hair as much as the average person or as fast as the average person and you know i've had my setback it isn't an easy journey not for anyone definitely not for me um doesn't mean because i have a youtube channel and do youtube videos and hair tutorials and hair care whatever it means you know it's magical it's no i actually have to put in work and the, the work i put in on youtube is literally one third of what i put in outside of youtube so you guys this is a you know like we're saying now, it's, it's not beans. <laughs> it's not. So I am really dedicated to growing, you know, a luscious head of hair. So hence why I am, you know, doing what I'm doing. But yeah, that's basically it. Like I said, you guys, this was just an impromptu video. Nothing, you know, planned, nothing scheduled. It was just, I was just doing my hair. I was like, wait a minute, why don't I come on the hair and do my 2020, my 2020, uh, hair review um that is basically it so i want to hear from you guys what uh, 2020 has been like for your hair um if you want to tell me anything personal i'm happy you know to know that as well you know just leave me a comment below let's chat down below uh but i particularly want to know about um your hair your hair uh challenges your hair uh setbacks your hair success why not i don't think it's you know bad for everyone some people may have had you know great hair year you know so um leave me a comment below letting me know what it has been like and let me know what you are looking forward to in 2021 when it comes of course to your hair um do you have any challenge any like you know hair growth challenge do you have any particular product you'd like to try or you know diys whatever it is just leave me a comment below and uh i will see you guys on the comment section uh, let me just go ahead and finish this because there's no way I'm going to finish this on camera. Go ahead and finish this and I'll be back to show you guys the end results. Mm -hmm.